Hello, gorgeous friends. Happy Thursday. How are you? It's April from Mama Loves Food, and we're going to cook tonight. How's that sound? Hopefully, you're in the mood to cook. Hopefully, you don't mind deja vu, though, because we're kind of doing the same thing we did a couple weeks ago, and not even just kind of. We are legitimately doing the same thing we did a couple weeks ago. What happens is when you have a whole load of kids, and one kid sees that one kid gets something, then the other kid wants the same thing, and so you have to do it again. So a few weeks ago, we made a cookie cake for my son, Stephen, for his birthday. And now it's my daughter Josie's birthday this weekend. And hi, Patricia. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Constance. Hi, Pamela. I'm going to pull up my comments right now so I can see you on here because it's easier to read this. Anyway, so um, Josie insists that she wants the same cake that Steven got, um, but she wants roses on hers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a two layer cookie cake. Hi, Renea, hi, Stacy. hi, Vanessa, hi, Dolly, hi, Luann, hi, Sandra, hi, Pamela, hi, Melissa. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. I feel like I'm cut off a little bit today. And I also feel like it's kind of dark in here. Is it weirdly dark in here or is it just me? Maybe it's my screen, maybe my screen turned down. Hi, Craig. I'm going to be drinking, I haven't opened it yet, a uh, Blue Point Toasted Lager. That's what we're gonna try tonight. Hi, Barbara from South Jersey. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the shares going real quick. And then we will start cooking. How's that sound? We have four kids, my kids are the same. Isn't that funny, Tristan? The one, <laughs> I pounded a glass of wine waiting for me. I am so sorry, you guys, I know I'm running late. Um, it was a really late nice last night last night. I know a lot of you were with us last night. Um, we did our holiday LuLaRoe show. We sold, I am late, Miss Rhonda. Um, we sold 155 pair of leggings last night. And the show didn't end until like two, uh, uh, 1.30. Didn't get my office cleaned up until like 2.30. Didn't get the invoicing done until 3.30. So I did not get in bed until four o'clock in the morning. So today feels a little draggy, and I had a whole lot of work to do. Luann, you look gorgeous tonight. Thank you. I had a whole lot of work to do, and ended up having to take my daughter to um, the pediatrician in the middle of the day uh, because she has a magical ear infection. So it's just been one of those days. Hi, Josh. Hi, Taylor. Thanksgiving or Christmas holiday? They were Christmas. Uh, Lula Road doesn't do... Um, Thanksgiving for some reason, which I think would be super fun. P.S. LuLaRoe, you should do that. Um, anyway, so we are, so anyway, I've been dragging today is the whole point of my way drawn out story. And um, we, hi Kelly, hi Melina. Um, we are, that's why we're running late. There's always an excuse, right? I'm always running late for some reason or another. I probably ought to just go ahead and say, the show starts at nine, but then if I say the show starts at nine, I'm probably just gonna end up coming on at 10. It'll be a big mess. Hi, Deanna, need the tops now, yeah, right? Hi, Carrie, hi, Lisa, hi, Marsha. Let me, my new tattoo. Um, it's, a, it's a little cat and it says mew, 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 and he's shooting a laser gun, like a Star Wars laser gun. Um, and it was part of my, um, it was part of my costume for Halloween, but I actually kind of love it. <laughs> <laughs> weirdly a lot so I always pictured myself as the kind of person who if I ever got a tattoo it would be like a big bright bold flower or something but I'm kind of in love with the little pew 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 cat <laughs> hi Patricia hi Andy hi Christy oh Brittany I'm so sorry I don't miss those days Ugh, teething is the worst the worst okay I think we shared it in all the places I think I don't know <laughs> I don't know there we go guys it's super awesome when you share sharing is caring uh, when you share Facebook says oh my gosh people like this show we're gonna show it to more people what am I? you know what <laughs> I took the thing to get my beer and my husband put it away. Hi, Whitney from Kansas City. Is it a permanent tattoo? No, no, it's just a wash off. But it's so fun, isn't it? I kind of want to know. I'm kind of thinking about like, maybe I need a cat tattoo. I don't even really like cats, but it's so cute. It's just pew, 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 pew. Can you guys see it? It's so cute. Okay, so tonight, uh, like I said, 
we are going to do another cookie cake and cookie cup. So if you missed that show a few weeks ago, um, let's hope Andy, amen, amen. I've got two beers on the ready though, in case we get them. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. So cheers guys, cheers, happy uh, Friday Eve. We're drinking Blue Point Toasted Lager. Hashtag not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me, hey, hey, give me a buzz. Happy to do that for you. All right. It's got a nice head on it. Look at that. I am super allergic to cats, Kelly. I probably would love them if I was not super allergic to them. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to get started. I apologize to those of you who watched almost this exact same show a few weeks ago, but like I was saying at the beginning, oh, I forgot to send a text message. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to send the text message. I was saying at the beginning, um, you know, when you've got a whole bunch of kids, it's still Thursday in the UK. It's still Thursday here, too. Christy doesn't like cats. Okay. We don't all have to like the same things, right? Isn't that how it works? The world would be a boring place if we all like the same things. But don't you like this cat tattoo? Look. You don't have to like cats to like a little cat going... Like it thinks it's going to do some damage. It's so cute. Okay, live show. Those of you who do not get the text message alert, if you don't want to watch me blabber away before the show starts, you can sign up for text message alerts and you'll get an alert right before we start drinking. All right. Live now at Mama Loves Food on Facebook. Making, ooh, making a cookie cake. Yes, again, <laughs> LOL. And let's drop a link for that. What do you think? Should we drop a link for that? Show video URL, copy, paste, there we go. Oh, I forgot to do that here too. Face, I know, this is the boring part, but Christy, let's see, Christy likes the tattoo. Where's the fun in what? Blue Ann's a dog person. You could get a little puppy dog going pew, pew, pew. That would be cute too, right? <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, live. Oh no. Oops. Oh no. Boom. There we go. Video. Boom. I can't type today. Oh no. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're all shared away, squared away, all that fun stuff. Okay. Got the text. Yay. Okay. Go ahead and give me hearts if you're a dog person, thumbs if you're a cat person. Let's see what we all are. All right, again, this isn't even really a recipe. We're just making a cake. Hi, Liliana. We're making a cookie cake. We did this like two or three weeks ago and we're gonna do it again because when you have kids, ooh, that's a whole lot of dog lovers. When you have kids and once is the other get something, they immediately want it, right? So my daughter saw that my son got not only did he get a cookie cake, but he got a cookie cake. <laughs> oh, Kelly, you'll be up all night. He got a cookie cake that was made live on mom's show. So then, of course, Josie has to have, Josie's my daughter, his birthday is this weekend. Josie has to have a cookie cake made live on mom's show. So that's why we're doing that again, because I love my kids. This one is dead. <laughs> Grab another one. Hi, Valencia. Where were you last night, girl? We missed you. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, I think that's enough on that one. Hi, Stephanie. All right. So, it's super ridiculously simple. Ridiculously. Ridiculously. Coffee. Getting a puppy this weekend, girl. May the power of Grace Skull be with you because whew, puppies are hard work, yo. Has somebody warned you? I'm so sorry you're not having a good day, Jessica. Boo. Boo. I love my dog, but boy, she's like having a six-month-old 24-7 for seven years. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm gonna grab a spoon from our spoon drawer. Not that one, because it is not clean. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
How can anyone not like cats? They're so well, I'm allergic to them, so I mean, I like them in pictures. All right. Oh yeah, I remember this happened last time too. Do you? Do you just want to bite it? I think we did this last time too. I'm getting deja vu. Oh. Hi, mom. I just want to eat it. My son's birthday is this coming Sunday and mine is Wednesday. Happy birthday! Hi Jake and Jen, how are you? Listening to the World Series. What kind of an excuse is that, Valencia? I mean, it's a good one, but still. Still. Puppies, puppies are like having a baby. They are. They are. And they're just, I don't know. They're a lot of work. <laughs> they're a lot of work. And yet I'm still thinking about getting another one, so I can't really talk. I know. I feel like my puppy's lonely. Now, right? I agree, Amy. I totally agree. Uh, Andrea has a month-old German Shepherd. So cute. So cute. Do you ever bake from scratch rather than using all prepared ingredients? Sure. There's a time and a place for scratch, and there's a time and a place for prepared. Tonight is a time and a place for prepared. But yeah, we absolutely do stuff from um, scratch. Lots and lots of stuff. We like to mix it up. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Somebody said eight. Hi, Jana. All right, so we're just crumbling it in. Can you all see what I'm doing? Okay. My 45th is on Monday. Happy 45th, Miss Kelly. You don't look a day over 29. So gorgeous. Not that there's anything wrong with aging, you guys. I think it's really sad that we all have to look young. <sighs> Okay, so we're just crumbling, and then we're going to press it in. We sprayed it first. Hi, Miss Shelly. We just adopted two older dogs, age five and seven. You could not pay me to get a dog while my kids are so young. They're a lot of work. Um, yeah, and none of our, neither of our dogs, so we just lost one of our dogs. Um, but she, I had her before we had kids. And then our other dog, when, when our first dog, when Izzy start, what, started getting older, like seven or eight, um, and we had a whole bunch of kids by then. I felt like she was kind of lonely and needed some more attention. So I, um, you have a lot of viewers. Yay, do we? That's good. I try not to pay too close attention to that. Um, so yeah, I felt like she needed a pal. So we adopted a dog and that's where we got Daisy. And she was three when we adopted her. And the family we adopted her from, hmm said she was really well trained. And I'm gonna tell you that she wasn't. Not even a little bit. Happy birthday to your son. My son turns 11 on the 21st of this month. Different son though, I have lots of those. Thank you, Fabiola. I would rather have a baby than a puppy. I'm gonna agree with that. I would totally have another baby. Wes has said no more babies though because he's the meanest husband ever. He's the worst. It's so hard, Amy. It's so hard. I know. It's really hard. It super sucks. Cake, 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 cake. I know. Cookie cake, cookie cake, cookie cake. So for my kids' birthdays, I always take them out to a special, I say special, I mean it could be McDonald's, but a special, like just mommy, daughter, son, whatever, lunch. And, you know, life has been busy and we were out of town for... Steven's birthday, so we didn't get around to doing lunch. So Josie, my daughter, whose birthday it is this weekend. Hi, Monica. I'm good. How are you? Um, crawled into my bed this morning and was like, cuddly, cuddly. Oh, Mom. I'm like, oh, Josie, what's up? I need you to take Steven on his lunch date today because I don't want mine to be late. <laughs> so I took Steven on his lunch date today. Um, it's so good, Rosario. It's so good. So good, so good, baby. You're so good. All right. We've got a thin layer of cookie cake. And you guys, the reason I make cookie cake like this, and you could totally do it with your own cookie dough if you've got a cookie dough you love. I just, I really like Toll House. I don't know if you need your reason personally. For me to try to recreate the wheel at this point. This entire tub costs four dollars. If you try to buy a cookie cake, and oh wait, that costs four dollars. This costs like a dollar twenty-five, right? So what are we up to? Five twenty-five. That's how much this cookie cake is gonna cost to make. But hi, Lynn. Lynn from three hundred sixty-five days of baking is here. Um. So yeah. So this is gonna cost 
under five dollars right or under six dollars we made it at home kids are gonna love it super yummy and it's not gonna cost me thirty dollars like if you went to the store and did it cookie cakes are crazy expensive at the store can we talk about that why are they so expensive at the store anyway I'm gonna pop these let's see just pressed in gently they're not like smushed perfectly flat uh, and we're gonna put put these in the oven on the middle rack 350 degrees uh, all right I'm gonna pop those in I'm gonna set the timer we're gonna start checking them at about 15 minutes all right timer one five zero zero start all right and then Josie wants well let's go ahead and do the cookie cups too homemade birthday cakes are the best all right, my hubby's gonna be 40. I have two Boston Terriers and a toddler. Somebody asked how many kids I have. I have five kids. I have four boys and a girl. girl. Where do you buy the cookie dough? Um, Publix, I got it at Publix. And you can get it at Costco or Sam's Club too, the big ones. Okay, let's go ahead and do our cookie cup. So we learned last show Andrea you got to where you volunteered <laughs> voluntold were you voluntold um so last time we made these I we put maybe a little too much cookie dough in the um cups so we're gonna go maybe a little bit less you are welcome Miss Rosario just a little bit less because it kind of cooked over too much. It's kind of a pain to get out. Oh, we need to spray these first. What am I doing? We need to spray these first. I had an $8 bucket of Pillsbury cookie dough at Sam's. There you go. Sam's Club has them for $8. I'm telling you, they were, it was, um, it was less than $5 at Publix though. And I, but the, I will say the Costco ones are like twice the size of this. The Costco ones are much bigger. Patricia has five kids, grown up now, four daughters, and one son. Aw, opposite. Hi, Aunt Allison. Okay. Ooh, I'm just gonna spray these. I'm an over sprayer. I don't know. That might mess with the. I don't know if that messes with the recipe ever. It probably does, but I'm an over sprayer. I'd rather not have to like dig things out. True story. The try using the back of the pan to make cookie cups. So, back here? They're fine in here. I think they'll I think they'll be fine in here. I think they'll be okay. Alright, let's put our we just won't use the um we just won't use that big handle this time. I'll use a smaller implement to make the um uh uh uh, uh, uh we'll use a smaller implement to make the well. Anyway, now I'm raising my second family. Three shih tzus and a golden lab. Aww. Oh, I love that. So we're gonna roll them into a ball. I'm just going to toss them in the middle. Can you guys see? I'll show you the whole thing in a minute. My brother's birthday is Sunday. He's going to be four. Happy birthday to your brother. All right. So what's everybody doing this weekend? Any big plans? I feel like it's the first weekend where there's like nothing huge going on. You know, last weekend was kind of Halloween-y. I mean, for me. <laughs> weekend before that, we had um, three girls and two boys for Heather. Love it, all these big families. You don't hear a whole lot about big families anymore. Um, five kids, four girls and a boy, two. Tammy's sick. No, girl, just rest. Rest all weekend. Take it easy. Put your feet up. Put a pair of leggings on. Whatever you gotta do. Get yourself better. Hi, Christina. How are you? Kelly is staying in bed all day on Saturday and watching movies. That sounds amazing. So basically, Kelly is saying she needs more work. <laughs> It's gonna be warm here in Arkansas, 80 degrees. Where is fall? Um, I need you to not say that because if it's warm there, it's probably gonna be warm here and I can't handle that because it's already too hot all the time here. We finally had a cool front last weekend and it was amazing, amazing, amazing. I was like the happiest person alive. If you use the bottom, spray and form cookies around them, just a tip. I don't, the thing is I don't want them to be that big. I want them to be um, like little cookie cups, not not big ones. Hi, Amy. We've got cookie cake in the oven, and we're making little cookie cups now. And we're hoping they turn out okay. And if they don't, it's okay. We're going to eat them anyway. <laughs> Kelly says, shh. Hi, 
can give you more work, Kelly. You got more work. Packing Operation Christmas Child Box. Oh, I love that, Denise. That's awesome. Speaking of child boxes, mine's not for charity, but it's hot in New Jersey. No. Um, what was I going to say? Did you guys see the post in the, um, I put it on this page and I also put it on the Lula page, um, of the super cute, um, elf gift ideas I, I'm, we're going to put up for sale soon. I'm super excited about them. They're for the kids. They've got a pair of leggings, an activity book, some cute Christmas ears, and, um, what else? I'm trying to think what else. Oh, a Christmas rubber ducky and cookie dough ice cream. That sounds amazing. And what else? And a, a note from Santa or the elf or whatever you want. Doesn't that sound so cute? So cute. I'm super excited. We're going to put those up for sale either tonight or tomorrow. I'll put a text out for that. I'm really excited. We don't have, we don't have a ton, but we have some. It was 95 in Texas today. That is, yes, Elf on the Shelf. Absolutely. I have no idea what I'm using. What? How much would you call that? Yeah, like a tablespoon. I'd say that's like a tablespoon. Like a tablespoon. My kids got me sick. No, Kelly, that sucks. All right, girl. I'll excuse you this time. I mean, it is the weekend. <laughs> um, Talk about the exact right amount of dough. Holy cow. Wow. All right. How do you get a text about it? Ka uh, Kathleen, what would you like a text about? About Lula or about um, cooking? Kelly can put both of that. Information for both of those things in the comments for you. All right. So Kelly wanted, do I know? Yeah, $25. It'll be $25, Andrea. So... Kids leggings, gotta be kids leggings, an activity book, a note from Santa, a cute little rubber ducky Christmas thing, and some fun ears. They're not ears, what do you call them? Headband, headband. All right, so the one thing Josie wanted different than Steven was, how do you know what I'm gonna be on? You can get a text message alert. Uh, Kelly can put in the comments how to sign up for the text message alert. You're gonna text follow uh, space live show MLF to 40404. Hi, Connie. Hi, Anthony. Are you watching on your big screen or are you watching in bed today? How's it going? That sounded really like way too personal. I'm sorry. It's not my business where you're watching the show. Um, so Josie desperately wanted, um, I have a TC size kit. I don't have any TC. I'm sorry. We sold out of the TC. I have some TC twos and some OFs. All right, so Josie wanted pink roses on hers. That was the big difference between, do you have to register? No, you don't have to register for anything. You just have to send a text message and they'll start sending it to you. There's nothing to register for. Um, Hailey from Mansfield, Massachusetts. Watching on your phone in the car. Karen just picked me up from work. Oh, late night, eh? Late night. All right, so Josie wants hot pink roses and I offered to make my own pink icing and she was very adamant that it had to be this really kind of crazy looking hot pink so you know whatever she saved me a step all right oh my Izzy was a Bichon Bichons are sweet yeah I'm licking my fingers and then cooking more how's that ha oh, I'm sorry Mary Kay that stinks hi Christy how are you all right so we're going to take our icing. The way we do, she wants roses. So we're gonna, we wanna make the icing a little bit more stiff. So we're gonna put in about a cup of powdered sugar, add it to this um, icing, and that'll make it, that'll give it more form. It'll hold the roses. Hold the roses. Let me grab a measuring cup. <clears throat> Where are my measuring cups, you guys? Who took the measuring cups? No, seriously. I don't know where my, I don't know where my big measuring cups are. Sorry, we'll use this. Thanks for sharing, Heather. Watching from cold Minnesota. I'm so jealous of your cold Minnesota. 
I want to be in cold Minnesota. Hesperia. What's Hesperia? Oh, is that where you're from? Is that, a, is that an area in Michigan? Tell me more. Tell me more. Is it up there or south? I don't know. Sorry. I'm in a singing mood. I think I'd be tired of singing by now. Hi, Miss Barbara. How are you? I just made two of the braided danishes. Yay! Are these so delicious? Oh my gosh, I have a pumpkin version. I should say I have the pumpkin version. We made it on the website, but I have it coming on the blog really soon. Super excited. Hi, Diana from Cold Riverside, California. Hope you're doing well. All right, we're going to plug this bad boy in. And we're going to do this. It's Josie ki Josie's kindergarten. Josie is kindergarten. She's my little K. Tell me more, tell me more. Does he have a nice car? Doo -doo, mm -doo, doo -doo, mm -doo. Oh, for crying out loud, go in. Am I putting it in the right side? I am. It's the right side. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. We got the click. Clickety, clickety, clack. My neighbor's gone whack. I don't know what that's from. I feel like that's like a poem or something. <laughs> Maybe I just made it up. Hi, Jenny from Sonoma. Isn't Sonoma where they make all the wine? Isn't it? Isn't it? All right. So when you beat the icing in, it will lighten a little bit. So it won't be that garish pink. Maybe. I don't know. Hi, Lisa. Lisa's twins. Lisa, Lisa, other Lisa's twins are in kindergarten. Over 700. Whoop, whoop. Let's see, how many people can share it? How high can we get it? You think we can get it over a thousand today? That would be amazing! I was thinking about um, going live on the Lula page later and just hanging out and making those gift bags. What do you think? You guys want to hang out with me while I make gift bags tonight? It won't be like a sale, just a, I mean, you can buy, but it won't be a sale. Does that make sense? All the wine! That's awesome. I'm supposed to be there in January, I think. Didn't it burn down though? Didn't Sonoma burn down? Am I crazy? Didn't you guys just have a lot of fires? All right. There's our stiffened icing. Thank you for sharing. You guys are amazing. Loved last night's show. Thanks. Last night's show was fun. It was late though. Oh my gosh. So late. I hope the fires didn't touch the wine too, girl. Okay. Ah, oh, that's terrible, Jenny. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. So we're going to put it in a piping bag. And we're going to... Hi, Erin. $25. $25. All right. Pretty in pink. Yeah, she said, but she was very adamant. We are only allowed to put the roses around the edge. Oh, that's so scary, Jenny. I'm glad you're okay. Hi, Kathleen. 25, sweetheart. 25. Can't get the text to work. Try messaging me with a screenshot of what you are texting, and I will be able to tell you if there's maybe a spelling error or something in there. That's usually what it is. Something's just spelled a little off. Um, yeah, the, uh, the kids... Leggings, treat packages are going to be 25 <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I don't really know the words is the problem. I only kind of just guess at them. So it's maybe not the best representation of the movie. I haven't shown my kids that movie yet. What What is an appropriate age? Because doesn't Rizzo like get pregnant? And What's an appropriate age? What's that bag in the yellow cup? It's the icing. We're putting the icing in. Dun, dun, dun. Will you have boys and girls leggings? They're unisex. They're all just Christmassy. There's nothing super girly ooh, or super boy. It's all like reindeers and <laughs> Santa Claus and all that fun stuff. So, oh, we've got besties watching. That's so fun. My bestie watches sometimes. Hi, Heather from New Hampshire. Are the gift boxes for boys? They are totally unisex. They are appropriate for girls or boys. They're going to have a pair of Christmas leggings. They're going to have a, um, what did I say? A pair of Christmas leggings, a holiday activity book, a, uh, like a, a silly little Christmassy headband, and a Christmas rubber ducky. 
and we can say we'll end a card from whoever you want it to be so if you want it to be from mom and dad we will sign it from mom and dad if you want it to be from you know your elf on the shelf you can have it be from your elf on the shelf and we'll let you pick your shipping date too hi Rhonda we're so glad you're here what's the highest number of viewers you've ever had um I think 3,000 we had one night maybe 2,500 so somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 was the highest that was a crazy night Ah, soon to be six years. That's fun. Okay, let's go ahead and put a rubber band on this. <gasps> Tasha's first time watching. Welcome. I think I was 16 when I first watched it. Yeah, I feel like it's probably... I used to get the text message, but haven't gotten any in a while. I'll try to send... Huh, that's weird, Tammy. It should work. I don't know why it wouldn't. Okay, icing, our, our garish pink icing is right there. Clean up that little mess. Just the tip. Okay, I'm gonna grab our, well, I'm gonna check on our cookie cake. I'm gonna say it's, let's see, let's see. I think it might be done, but I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna give it like two more minutes. Cause it's starting to brown, but it's still pretty raw in the middle. So we're gonna do a timer two zero. Nope, not quick time. Cancel timer two zero zero. Go. Okay. And then we will. Um, yeah. Hi. How are you? You guys want to do nine when I first saw Grace? I want to say I was like ten or so. Do we pre-order? Do we have to pre-order the gift bags? I don't know what you mean by pre-order. Like they're they'll be ready to go out. Um. So it's just up to you. I'm not sure what you mean by pre-order. How do I send it for text alerts? Kelly, will you put in the comments how to do text alerts, please? Thank you. My daughter had her baby. Oh, congratulations to your daughter and your beautiful granddaughter. That's so exciting. Hi, Tristan. We've been doing the show since uh, March of 2016, so uh, a little over a year and a half now. Um, yeah. Hi, Gail. We, we're having a kind of a repeat show awfully quickly. I know we don't usually do this, but... Um, I'm sorry, Deanna. Kelly's going to put in the comments how to sign up for text message alerts. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're doing cookie cake again. My daughter, my, when my son had his cookie cake and she found out it was made on the show, she had to have her cookie cake made on the show as well. So that's what we're doing. We're making another cookie cake. And we're drinking beer. Like when hound your pre-sales, like when I hound your pre-sales and social leggings. You lost over 100 viewer, 50 viewers when you walked away from the camera. Yeah, that happens. That happens. All right. Oh, we forgot. I got to do some more. So we've got the roses, and then we're going to do the cookie cups. So we'll, let's make some more icing. More icing, more icing. Thanks, Kathleen. Keeping it real, yo. Keeping it real. Christine, you're so cute. Thanks. Cookie cake and beer. I mean, does it get any better than cookie cake and beer? What? I don't know. All right. So, again, to make this stiffer, <laughs> she said stiff, um, stiffer icing, you're going to do a can of icing. You can totally make your own icing if you want, you guys. Whatever you want to do. You pick your level of involvement in this cake. But I feel like... The tub of cookie dough costs less than $5. The icing costs less than $2. So roughly $7. And we've made a really nice cookie cake that'll serve about 10 to 15 if you if it's if it's 50% kids, 5 to 10 if it's all adults. I mean, you can't really beat that. Because you go to the mall to that cookie case place, and it's gonna be $30. And it's gonna be a single layer, and it's gonna be a little stale. So, you know. This is just the way to do it. It's just the way to do it. All right, so we're gonna grab, oh yeah, that looks better. Now we got a little brown on them. All right, look at that. Our perfectly baked cookie cakes, yay! Let's go ahead and put them on our, what kind of beer? What did I say I was drinking? Um, That's a good question. I'll tell you in a second, hold on. Does anybody remember what kind of beer I was drinking? I don't know, usually I keep the bottle lying around here somewhere, but. Rum chata in my cookie cut. What's a rum chata? I don't know what rum chata is. And it's made with love. It made me a little bit of hair. Because let's be real. 
Hair is everywhere. <laughs> Hair all the places. All right. So there's our two cookie cakes. Look, perfectly browned and yummy. Blue Point Lager. Thank you. That's what I'm drinking. All right. And then we're going to take our little cookie balls. Cookie balls. Um, and we're going to throw them in the oven also at 350. And we're going to time these for about seven minutes. Let's check on them in seven minutes because they're a lot smaller. Um, timer is seven zero zero. And um, yeah. Uh, how many kids gift bags are we going up for sale? I'm not sure yet. I have to count. Um, it's not a ton. I don't know. 20, 20-ish in each size. So t maybe 20 in in small, 20 in large, and tw 10 or in tween, I think I might have. Ish. I'll count them out and let you know. Can't get Blue Point San, Diego, San, San Antonio. What? That's so lame. All right. So we've got one can of grocery store icing and one cup. Hi, hi Sierra from Logan, Ohio. Hashtag cookie balls. Do you like your cookie balls salty or sweet? <laughs> It's an old SNL skit. I'm sure some of the folks in here have seen that. All right, we're just going to rinse our beaters off because I accidentally laid them at the bottom of the sink. Not the most sanitary place to do that. Ooh. Caught my cabinet. All right. Karen says, probably more germs and fast burgers. True story, Karen. Karen, we can be friends. I like you. Let's go have a beer together. Fabulous. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. I do a lot of work with Publix. Hi, cooking lady. <laughs> Hi, Carol. How are you? All right. So, on average, 12 hairs a year folks eat. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't know if I really want to think about what I eat at restaurants. Ooh, no thanks. I'm just going to be happy that I'm not having to cook it and listen to my kids complain that they don't like it after I slaved over it when I go to a restaurant. So, always making my kids happy. Maybe not. Maybe sometimes making my kids happy. If you make them happy too much, they're going to be miserable adults, right? Miserable adults. Can you imagine a kid that was always happy his whole time growing up? Man, that's going to be a rough one. You turn 18. Bye, kid. You just had an amazing childhood. I said yes to everything. <laughs> Don't try that with your new boss. <laughs> I never saw the appeal of Publix. It's just, you know, it's more the attitude. Everyone's really nice. I know. I don't like the selection isn't really any anything amazing. The prices certainly aren't anything amazing, but they take your groceries out for you. They're always super nice. I don't know. It's just and they have public subs, and you just cannot get anything better than public subs. So all about balance. <laughs> Choking down a Whopper, huh? What? I already have Amazon and have some stuff getting ready to use your link, or does that only work for stuff you advertise? No, if you click through the link, you can click through the link. Works for whatever. You gonna send me enough to make coffee? Alright, what, um, what was I looking for, you guys? <laughs> oh, I'm going in the refrigerator to look for these, by the way. Clearly I'm tired. Um, thanks, Monica. Thank you. I don't know. It's a weird thing with Publix. I don't know. I can't explain it. Okay. What did I just do with my cup? Let me, there's my icing cup. There, we all have an icing cup, right? It's yummy, Samantha. Thanks. Chicken. I'm a. I'm not a. I'm a. I'm a roast beef and provolone girl. On white. I will say their wheat. Their wheat sub bread is like meh. But, uh, hi Stella, we are making a cookie cake and cookie cake cups. That's what we're making tonight. And I apologize if you were here two weeks ago when we made it already, but sometimes you just gotta repeat a recipe a couple times because that's what your kids want for their birthdays. And so that's what we're doing. That's what's happening, yo. 
Oh, I, okay, so Kelly doesn't understand Publix. I don't understand red velvet. Like, it's just a cake with a whole bunch of food dye in it. What, what? Somebody, can somebody please explain to me that what the appeal is with red velvet? Because I don't get it. I really don't. Who sells the icing cup and icing cream? So the icing cup <laughs> is from the Dollar Tree. It's not really an icing cup, it's just a cup. And the icing bags are Wilton, and you can get them at, um, you can get them on, on Amazon, or you can get them at um, Michael's. I think Walmart probably carries them. I don't think Publix actually carries them, but maybe. Holly loves, but what do you love about red velvet? I don't understand. Like, it's just, it's just a regular, it's just a cake. What's so special about it? Tell me, tell me more, tell me more. I don't get it at all. All right. Josie asked me to make absolutely sure that there was extra icing for her. Real red velvet is made with beets and is delicious. All right, okay, so that makes more sense. But I have never had red velvet made with beets. I have red, I have had red velvet made with disgusting amounts of food dye. And I am not opposed to disgusting amounts of food dye, you guys. I am not that person. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. I don't care. Um, but I am not that person. If you want to make me a rainbow cake, let's bring on all the food dye. But what I don't understand is food dye for the sake of food dye. Does that make sense? Like, it's just red. It's not a rainbow. Rainbows are way cooler than red. I don't know. Just in my opinion. <laughs> my 16 year old daughter is cracking up. I'm glad I could bring some joy into her life tonight. Alright, let's see. Oh, look at that. The kids every freaking week. Every week, you guys. Every week. I now red devil's food cake sounds good. Now let's leave out the red and just have some devil's food cake. <laughs> Every week, you guys, I put more rubber bands in the drawer. And every week, my kids, did I ever have Sprinkles cupcakes? Yes, I've had Sprinkles cupcakes. Um, all right, that sounds interesting, Kelly. And every week, the rubber bands are gone when I go to use them on the show. <laughs> that is so sweet. Okay. That is sweet. Wow. Kelly makes a vegan chocolate cake. I don't know. I don't know. That word vegan scares me a little. I like my I like my animal products. All right, I'm gonna check these cookie cups. See how we did. I'm gonna say they need like one more minute. Timer one zero zero start. That might be a little bit premature. I might need a little bit more than one minute. Kelly, no, Kelly eats all the things. Kelly does not eat vegan. Boom, boom. Brittany, it's okay. We're glad you're here. All right. Should we do it to it? I think we can do it. Look at that. We want it to cool a little bit more. <laughs> I like steak. Moo. Me too. Steak is delicious. Red velvet cake is chocolate cake with red coloring. An original red velvet cake gets, it red, gets its red color from... <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. I'm skeptical about that. I think just to make it stand out, you can actually leave the red dye and the cocoa and replace the amount of cocoa with flour. Vanilla, now that sounds yummy. Vanilla velvet cake, I could get behind that. Gotta have beef and pork, heck yeah. <gasps> Yay, Kelly bought a cast iron skillet. We are excited about that. Excited. All right, we're gonna let these cool just a touch more. And then, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I think you're, I think you're trying to scare me. I'm packing because we're building a new house. <gasps> but that's exciting! Packing sucks, but new houses are cool. Let's go ahead and check on these cookie cups. I hear you, timer, I hear you. Ooh. It's a hot oven. What do y'all think? I think maybe we need another minute. I think they're a little raw looking. 
minutes still. I'm gonna do one more minute. Maybe 90 seconds. Let's do 90 seconds. Timer, nine, zero, start. Okay. My promise we really will take them out. Okay, let's find a, April, your snow melted, I can't send it to you. What? That's ridiculous. I was looking forward to my snow. I don't know how I feel about this now. And I thought we were friends. I'm just looking for my cake pan, you guys. We have, we have an amazing babysitter who does dishes for me. But she also guesses where things go sometimes. And that's not my favorite. Okay. This'll do, right? That'll do. That'll do. They showed it on the Food Network a couple years ago. Are we still talking about the roaches? I'm getting upset by this conversation. I don't know how I feel about this. All right. Let's go. Yes, we are. I'm not ready for snow. What? I'm always ready for snow. Snow all the time. All right, there's... All right, it's kind of a curvy plate. It's not ideal for this situation, but we'll just fill it with lots of icing. How's that sound? Should we fill it with lots of icing? Should we put some icing on the bottom first? What do you think? It's kind of freaking me out. I don't want to, I don't want to break the cake. I don't want to break the cake. We need snow in Florida. I totally agree with that. Totally 100% agree with that. All right, I'm gonna pull these cookie cups out for real this time. For real. We'll just a touch and then we'll do our we'll poke we'll poke them in the middle poke them. i'm gonna turn this oven off i'm gonna grab it. i'm gonna grab a cake stand that'll work that'll work here we go i got a cake stand not all do not all do not not all do Whew. there we go vegans scare me you're funny She wanted chocolate icing in the middle, so we're just doing regular old chocolate icing. And had frost on the car the other morning. Can you make this cookie cake with sugar cookie dough? You absolutely can. You absolutely can. You guys are stressing me out with the bug dye. What are we talking about here? This is madness. Madness. Boom. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I should put a little bit of there, so it'll stay on. There we go. Now it'll stay better. See, Heather? We're, look at that, Heather. We're like this. We're like this, right? Right? Bum, 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 bum. It's still, it's still scooting, but not as bad as it was before. Summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving happen so fast da -da -da, da -da -da -da. all right she wanted chocolate in the middle and she was very worried because her brother doesn't like one of her brothers doesn't like icing on his cookie cakes and she was really stressing out about it because she likes icing on her cookie cakes and I was explaining to her that it's her birthday and if she wants icing on her cookie cake she's gonna get icing on her cookie cake that's just how it works I did that, Miss Connie. See, we're thinking along the same lines. I did just that. All right. Nice, thick layer of the chocolate icing. All right. Woo, yum. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Summer loving, had me a blast. It's like a giant cookie icing sandwich from the mall. It's exactly what it's like. Exactly. All right, we're going to very carefully lift this up and put it down. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Oh, here's the can. Here's the bottle. Here we go. Toasted latte. 
lager and blue point. That's what we're drinking. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we made a cookie cake. How do you like them apples? This, <laughs> this stand is like, maybe not, because she wants roses on the side. I don't know if that's going to work. I guess I should put them around the top. Because this is like, no. Nah, quite white enough but I think it's is this this is my whitest cake stand right oh oh I have that silver one do you know what the silver one is oh I have no idea what, oh okay. the crystal ones using as a <laughs> we're using the crystal one as a spice holder <laughs> um, I think it might be in our bedroom in that bin do you know what I'm talking about the stuff that I just took out of my office Maybe? This bin right here. <gasps> is it over here we're just looking for a different cake stand because um, this one's not this. I wanted she wanted roses on the side. Make a third one. She was very specific. She did not want to be tall. Only two layers. Is it in there? I don't know where it is though. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just we'll just do it on the edges. She'll be she'll survive. She'll survive. You going to bed? Oh, he doesn't feel well. We're not kissing. We're not making out tonight, y'all. We're not making out tonight. Okay. So we're going to... This time we're going to use a small... We're not using you. We're going to use a smaller. And we're just going to... Boom, 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 and make a little well in there. Okay? Hoping this works better than the last time. Because last time... It didn't work as well as I had hoped. Isn't she lovely? With small chocolate chip cookies, I put vanilla ice cream in the middle. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, so we're just making a well for our icing right now. So I feel like last time we put way too much cookie dough in, and this time we maybe put not quite enough. I mean, I think it'll work, but I think we could have done a tiny bit more. Well, maybe not, though. Maybe not. I don't know. This might be perfect. This might be perfect. If I asked my man if he knew where baking stuff was, he'd think I lost my mind. Well, he had no idea, so if that makes you feel better. He just looked in the bin that I have sitting there, that's all. He didn't know. He didn't know. I always use the bottom of shop. So I used, that's what we used last time, Heather, and it, um, this, this mini muffin pan is just not big enough for that so it kind of smashed the cookie cups a little bit um so if i was doing it in a bigger with bigger um what do you call it bigger not all at once april tin with a bigger tin then that would work but this tin does not work for that but look here i'll show you so we're making look it's making a nice little well and we're gonna put icing in it isn't she lovely? Dun, dun. All right. It's working. It's working. It's really working. It's kind of killing me not to just eat these, though. I'm not going to lie. Dun, 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 dun. See? Cute, right? Digging it. I'm digging it. I used to actually have a tool. I know this is so crazy. I had a tool that was actually specifically for this. <laughs> but I don't know what I did. Yes, you could use a pizza pan. The web the recipe if you click through the link on my um in the description, which by the way is where you find Kelly, can you put a link to the cookie cake we've got on the website? Um I actually use a pizza pan in that one. We do a double layer with a pizza pan for a big birthday party. It works great. You would just use two tubs of um, um, cookie dough instead of one, or two batches, you know, whatever. All right, yay, look at that. It worked so much better that time. Oh my goodness. Yay, and that's why we recipe test. <laughs> there you go, Kelly just put a link to it. Not so much a recipe as how I do it. Okay. Mm. What did I do other there? We'll pull these out and let them cool. I just want this to cool a little bit more before we pipe the roses onto it so it doesn't, um, so they don't melt. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up. Just give me one second. 
one second. Isn't she lovely? All right. See? Got a nice little well in the middle. Just joined, how many tubs of dough did you use? Just one tub of dough. We used one tub of dough, half for each, well actually a little less than half for each and then we had enough to do a tray of cookie cups. Use a pizza pan for this cake so you can pipe the rosettes on the side. Yeah, that would definitely work. Pizza pan, oh you mean to hold the, <gasps> I see what you're saying. I, I was totally not understanding you. I was, should I say, I was misunderstanding you. I will do that, I will do that, thank you. Very smart people. I'm watching Chicago Fire. Oh, is that a good show? I've never seen it. Isn't she lovely? Da, 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 da. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Yay, I'm so excited. They're like not crumbling at all. They're perfect. They came out super duper cute. Loves it. Chicago, so tell me about Chicago Fire. Is it like about the fire department or what's it about? Tell me more, tell me more, cause I've never heard of that show. All right, yay, look at all our cute cookie cups. It's a really good show. All right, well I'm glad to hear it. I'll have to, like, I'll have to look it up, cause I love shows. I'm watching right now, I think we've talked about this before, but I'll tell you again. Right now I am watching, um, oh, I'm so glad you liked it, Tracy. Yay, and she liked it. Um, I am, I've been watching the Star, the Star Treks. I started with Next Generation, and um, how did I make them the same size? Oh, I used the muffin tin, then I just approximated. Okay, should we do some roses? I'm gonna grab whoever's genius idea I was to use a pizza tin. I'm gonna grab a pizza tin real quick. Don't go anywhere. All right, look at this. Look at that. Pizza tin. I'm actually gonna do it on the back side. The back side's a little bit prettier. Let's see if we can do this without. Boom. <laughs> Looks like somebody left behind a little schmear. <laughs> I fill my cookie cups with mini, mini Reese's. Ooh, yum. That would be yummy, too. All right. Look at this. Ready? Right in the middle. Oh, look. Look at that. I love Caption Casey, too. What's up? Anyway, so this is not a repeat carol, but we did do the same recipe like three weeks ago. So that would explain why it feels like a repeat. <laughs> we do not normally repeat my recipes like this. So those of you who are new here, you don't have to worry that in two weeks you're going to come on and um, watch another cookie cake. Uh, that's not what we'll do. I only am doing this because my daughter saw my son's, did I already take it out? My daughter saw my son's cookie cake um, for his birthday last week or two weeks ago. Oh, the Good Doctors is good too. And decided she wanted the same thing for her birthday, so there we go. I don't know where my metal tip went. favorite metal tip is missing. All right, well, we'll use the plastic version. That'll work. I don't know where it is. Usually I put it on the windowsill before a show. It's not there, though. It's not there. So who's made roses? Who's, who's piped roses before? It's really easy. You just go in a counterclockwise direction, I think. Am I right? We'll do it, and then I'll figure it out. <laughs> I think it's counterclockwise. All right. 
Tell me more. So you guys, I pickled some okra. I love okra. Do you guys like okra? Okra is delicious. But the problem with okra, as most of you probably know, is that okra... Can I get some highs? Because it looks like... Um, I have no comments right now. I got gummed up a little bit. Um, I love okra. But you got to roast it for a really long time or fry it to get rid of the... the I lost comments, didn't I? Well, that sucks. Uh, to get rid of the um, sliminess. I'm going to see if I can get my comments back. It's just no fun when we don't have comments. I'm just looking for you guys. Are we here? <gasps> there is my comments. Nikki Craig is watching. <gasps> Everybody say congratulations to Nikki. Nikki just got engaged. What? Nikki's our old babysitter. Now she's all grown up. How does that happen, you guys? I think she was like 15 or 16 when she started babysitting for us. Ridiculous. Okay. I think it's actually clockwise. Let's see. Ooh, that didn't work very well. Don't look very closely at that one. All right, no, I don't have comments. I They loaded for a second and then they disappeared again. That sucks. Also, this icing is not as stiff as I would like, but that's okay. You guys are just gonna have to talk and pretend that I can see you. I should have put the icing in the fridge. I totally forgot to put the icing in the fridge. Anyway, so I made pickled okra. Well, sugar booger. This icing needs to go in the fridge. Oh, did you cut the cookie away the same way you cut a regular cake? I did not cut it. I did it in two separate, um, two, two separate things. I'm going to throw this in the freezer for just a second. I'm going to let that stiffen up in the freezer. It's still really warm. You can see we're getting really sad looking roses. Watch Travelers. Ooh, I like time travel stuff. Timey wimey, wibbly wobbly, all that fun stuff. Um, what was I gonna say? Stranger Things is so good. Pragna, I promised her I would not decorate the top of it. I promised, promised, promised. She wants to decorate the top of it. But I am gonna smear the icing around actually and we'll just do a crumb coat on it. And then we'll put the, we can put the um, roses over the crumb coat. We can do that. We can do that. Ooh. Anyway, so I started watching Star Trek over again. I love Star Trek. I started with Next Generation because that's what I grew up on. My dad and I used to watch Next Gen all the time. And it's so good. So after I finished Next Gen... I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should have started with the original Star Trek. But it's okay. I'll go back and watch it now. So I watched like four episodes. And you guys, I could not watch it. It's so sexist. It's really bad. It's really bad. All the women are like waiting on people and wearing super short skirts. and Kind of upset me a little bit. So now I'm watching... Um, don't forget to put, oh, the other bag of icing. Thank you. Uh, now I'm watching, what's the one? Something nine. Something nine. What's the other Star Trek? Deep Space Nine. I'm watching Deep Space Nine. And it's all right. But I miss my Captain Picard. What is Stranger Things about? Stranger Things is set in the mid 80s, right? Is it mid or early 80s? And it's about, how do you even explain it? It's like, um, there's, there's an upside down and there's creepy monsters. And there's, I don't know, it's just really good. There's a creepy facility. Did you see they're shipping one girl out of the house? Oh, you're not talking to me. What would you do, the box, 
Oh, what do we do to the box cake mixes to make them more bakery-like? We add, we trade, when it says add water, you're gonna add um, whole milk instead of water. When it says to add oil, you're gonna add butter instead of oil. And when it says to add a number of eggs, you're gonna add one more egg than it calls for. ER repeats. Oh, I liked that show when it was on. Oh, you know what show I really liked watching? I, I binged on it a while ago. It was Have you guys watched Nurse Jackie? I really liked that one. It was stressful the last season though. The last season was way stressful. It did not end the way I thought it would. I mean, it was really good, but it did not end quite the way I thought it would. Look at that. Did you think we would get all the way around the cake with three roses? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. <laughs> Is that what the envelope was about? Uh, what are we talking about? It sounds like Big Brother or something. You guys talking about Big Brother? All right. All right. Not that I think it's super necessary on a cookie cake, but we have now crumb coated our cookie cake. And do you guys think that it's cooled off enough in the freezer for us to go back at it? I also loved it because happy endings bug me. No, it was good. It was good. I was not, it wasn't a bad ending. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Which is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's good to be surprised. Where did you find the ER? Yeah, I don't know. So yeah. Nurse Jackie, OMG, that was my, it was so good, right? Dexter stressed me out. Dexter stressed me out. I can't, I can't do Dexter. I watched a little bit of it and it really stressed me out. Okay, let's see if that helps stiffen things up a little bit. Part of it too is that I'm using this tip, that, um, this plastic tip that I don't love. Oh! It just went out the back end. <laughs> that sounded really dirty. That sounded really dirty. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, my wine cup's empty, so we're just putting that extra icing in there. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. I don't feel like I've ever had this hard, this much of a hard time before. There we go. That's a little better. I don't love Grey's Anatomy. I watched the very first season. It was not my favorite. I wonder if it's this icing. I've never used the Funfetti icing. I wonder if that's it. It's not the kind I usually use. I had a blowout. I did. As a mother of five, I am familiar with blowouts. Tell me more, tell me more, does he have a nice car today? It's alright, it's working now. They're not the prettiest roses we've ever made, but... They're cute. She'll like it, I think. Alright. Oh, it's cute. Like, it's cute. We're good. We're good. She'll love it. She'll be happy. That's what counts. Can't believe she's turning six, you guys. Who's, I don't know. We probably don't have any, like, way back original blog readers, but I remember blogging about when she was born. It's crazy how fast it happens. Crazy, crazy. I got, I love ghost shows and medical shows. I'm not, like ghost, like real ghost stuff, like ghost hunting or ghost like, what's the one, Dean and Sam. Dean and Sam, oh, I love me some Dean and Sam. Oh my goodness. She'll love it cause her mama made it for her. <laughs> you know, that's not always true. <laughs> <laughs> She's my biggest critic, if we're being honest. What was the show called with Heisenberg? Oh, I don't know. I don't know names. I'm terrible with names, so. Definitely the wrong person to ask that question. Thanks, Patricia. I hope she likes it. And even though it's not as... I So, if you're using the Funfetti icing, I'm going to go D, Supernatural... Oh my goodness. Love it. So good. Hashtag love me some Dean. 
Have you searched Dean in the gift finder? There's some good ones. There are some good ones. Do you guys watch I Zombie? I love that one too. That's a good one. Dun, dun, dun. Supernatural. Has the new season started yet? I don't have cable, so I have to wait for it to come on Netflix. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad stresses me out way too much. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, 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 bum. The Traveler. All right, I'm excited. I'm going to have to look up The Traveler because I don't think I've seen it before, although it's possible I have. I have a really bad habit of saying I've never seen something and then watching like 10 minutes of it and going, oh, yeah, I've watched this before. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? <gasps> look at that. Roses. Josie's got her roses on the side, just like she asked for. She gets to cover the top. Heaven knows what she's going to do with it, but it's her cake to do it with. I, Zombie, and Supernatural are so good. All right, I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick, and we're going to fill these cups with some pink icing. Summer loving, loves. On the roses, you start in the middle and work your way out. Yes, that is true. Start in the middle and work your way out. Can you guys see it? Pretty right. Not our best work. Anyway, if you so if you use that funfetti pink, I would say instead of adding a cup of powdered sugar, I would actually add a cup and a half um, because it definitely. And I have a feeling it has to do with the amount of food dye in there, um, but it doesn't. It doesn't set as well as the ones we've done in the past did. Good night, Miss Deanna. Oh yay! Make sure you. I will, Nikki. If you're if you're in town, she would love to see you. She still asks about you. Um. So cute. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Some loving, having a love. I, don't, I wish I had songs to sing. <gasps> I love you so much, Monica. You're so sweet. Thanks. All right. Those cute little cookie cupcakes or cookie cups I don't know what do you call them what would you call them thanks Anthony one line from the song stuck in my head that has that ever happened to you did you take the other ice I just put it in the fridge not the freezer it should be fine the monkey has my metal tip does it really <gasps> no that's the other one it's not the right one that's in my round one but thank you because that needs to go back in the bag too thank you good eye man wow that's impressive can you spot the other one because that's the one I really want it's usually up there I'll have to ask Miss Shelby. Are we doing anything for the top of the cake? Josie wants, Josie asked me to leave the top of the cake blank for her to decorate. So I'll have to post a picture. If you guys, do you guys follow me on Snapchat? If you follow me on Snapchat, I will post a picture of how Josie decorates the top of the cake tomorrow or Saturday, whenever. What is the song for Supernatural? Oh, my wayward son, yeah. Um, Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Right? Is that it? I don't know the rest of the words, but... <laughs> Aaron doesn't even have her glasses on. What? I don't think you need glasses. Let's all play I Spy. I love it. Oh, no. I was hoping to get through and do it all with this bag, but I don't think we will. Carry on my way, what's on? Where will I place the cake? Uh, I'm going to put it in the fridge for now. And then when we're ready to eat it, I'm going to put it in my mouth. Snapchat. Snapchat is Mommy Named April. All my social media is Mommy Named April. So if you want to follow me in all the places, on Pinterest, on Facebook, on, um, oh, come on. I guess we need the other bag. 
on Pinterest, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram. It's Mommy Named April. M-O-M-M-Y-N-A-M-E-D. All the places. And if you love Lula, we actually have a second Snapchat just for Lula. And lay you where it had to rest. Don't you cry no more. Thank you. <laughs> Who said that? Thank you, Karen. Um, yeah, you can follow us. Mama, what? what is it? Mama Loves LLR on Snapchat. And you can see all the outfits and all the stuff we're putting up, all our albums ahead of time. And if you see something you love and you want it before everybody else gets it, take a screenshot and message me or put it in the group and be like, yo, I want this before you put it for sale. And I will, I will do that. You can do that. Thanks, Leslie. I think she'll be excited. What do you think? I think she'll like them. Should we put some sprinkles on them? The answer is always yes, by the way. Don't even think about that. Of course the answer is yes. Of course we're going to put sprinkles on them. Where's my sprinkles? So I've got these like, the Fun Fetty Mix comes with plain pink sprinkles, but I feel like they need colorful sprinkles, right? Oh yeah. Ugh, I let the icing set too much on some of them. <laughs> it's not sticking. It is making a big mess on my countertop though. Look at the icing with the red top. What's next to that? Icing with a red top. What's next to that? Um, that is, by the way, impressive sight on your part. Um, that is a game piece for my son's um, little mini air hockey type thing. There's sprinkles on the floor now. I'm going to have to mop. It's not sticking. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Whatever. Ugh, it's not sticking. Okay, here's one that I did right away. So the key is do it before the icing sticks. You can see I've got sprinkles all under my fingernails. <laughs> all right. Now, Karen, they've got, um, they've stiffened enough because we put the powdered sugar in them. It's okay. It's enough. It's enough to be a little bit cutesy bootsy. Should we try one? The answer is yes. Yes, we should try one. <laughs> it looks like it, Irene. The jig is up. The news is out. They found me. Who found you? The people with the white coats. <laughs> Did they come to take you away? They're coming to take me away. Ha <laughs> ha. They're coming to take me away. <laughs> uh, I feel like my dog's going to come over here and eat a whole lot of sprinkles. All right. Should we taste one of these? Yes. Cheers. So dipping it in the sprinkles won't do anything because they're we put the powdered sugar in and that makes it so it doesn't it's not sticky. Mmm. Mm. So good. Oh, Heather, everybody likes sprinkles. It's just you. <laughs> anyway, snap for the leggings. Mama loves LLR. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-L-L-R. All right, guys. We did it. We done it. We, we're good. I'm going to... Here, do you guys want to see one more time? Here's the... The cookie cake, it's all ready for Josie to decorate on top. She wanted pink roses around the edges. Two layer. And then with the leftover cookie dough, we made our cute little cookie cups. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Brittany. This show has nothing to do with being a mommy and everything to do with loving food, girl. All right. Thanks, Mom. Have a wonderful night. How do you serve the cookie cake? On a plate. What do you, I'm not sure what you mean, how do you serve it? Just cut it up and serve it, just like a regular cake. Melissa says, hold the sprinkles. I am, in my hands. I'm holding the sprinkles. <laughs> 
All right, you guys. Have a wonderful night. If you feel like hanging out, hop over to Mama Loves LuLaRoe on Facebook. Kelly can put the link in there. And um, I will be on probably like half hour ish. Um, just we're gonna, I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make some of those fun little bags for the kids. Um, it's not gonna be a sale. I mean, I'll put the sign up if you want to buy them, but I'm not gonna be like auctioning sale. But you can see them because they're gonna be fun. So have a great night, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, um, <laughs> Melanie. I. Um, I'd love if you like the page, click through to mamalovesfood.com, click through to the recipe, browse around the website for a little bit, see if there's anything you want for dinner or dessert next week. Um, if you make something, make sure to share it with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. I love getting messages from you guys. It's super awesome. It makes my day. And um, yeah, make sure you sign up for text message alerts. Make sure you sign up for our email newsletters and all that fun stuff. Have a wonderful night. I will see you guys maybe a little bit later. If not on Monday, if you guys do Lula, we'll Lula on Monday. And if you're just not into Lula, don't even worry about them. Not everybody is. We'll see you on Tuesday for more cooking. Have a great night. Mwah. Love you.